Hey guys, welcome to Seawater Pro. My name is Mike. Today I'm gonna to show you how to pickle your water maker. This goes for our mini portables, the piranhas, the modulars, all systems across the board use the same process. The reason that we're pickling our water maker is to preserve the membranes to stop microbial life dying inside the membrane, causing a smell, making your membranes go bad. We don't want that. So we have a solution that you can add to your system that'll preserve your membrane up to two years without any maintenance. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up a bucket with about two gallons of water. You could use the water that the water maker itself made. If you're gonna use a different source of water, just make sure it's unchlorinated. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick our brine hose in our bucket. We are gonna take our boost pump, we are gonna remove the pre-filter. Now, if you have a modular system, your pre-filters have a different housing. Go ahead and take those pre-filters out, put the housing back together. We don't wanna run that glycol through those filters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our boost pump, we're gonna submerge it into the bucket of water. Now we're going to add our glycol. Glycol is the same as liquid pickling. It's a food grade product, so if anything did happen with getting it into your water source, it's completely safe. So we're gonna add one part of glycol to two parts water. Go ahead, we're gonna give it a nice little swirl in our bucket. All right. Now we're gonna turn our boost pump on, plug that guy in. Now, if your boost pump needs help purging some of that air out through the system, you can go ahead and turn your high pressure pump on. Now you'll see that brine coming through. If we're gonna have our high pressure pump on, that's fine, it'll help purge some of that out. However, we do not wanna pressurize our system. We wanna stay at zero PSI to stop any damage or any harm that we're gonna do to our membranes. So now we're cycling this, this uh, solution. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the high pressure pump. And you can see that our brine hose actually turned blue. Once your brine hose turns blue, go ahead and cycle this for about a minute, two minutes. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and turn it off, put it away, and your system's pickled for up to two years. So we're gonna unplug our boost pump. We're going to drain our brine hose. Okay, once you get most of that water out this hose, we can go ahead and roll it up. There we go. We're gonna grab our boost pump from our bucket of glycol. Let this guy drain out. We don't wanna leak all this water into the case. Go ahead and put your cap back on. You're good to put it away. As simple as that. You guys have pickled your water maker along with me. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking us out. We'll see you guys out there.